What's up? Welcome back to another episode. Last time you saw me, I was taking my engine block from the powder coat shop to the machine shop. And uh, as much as I would love to show you all that's going on there, we also have to get the cab to its next destination, which is the Sand Blasters, which is why we're here with the trailer again, because the cab is on the move. We're here at Revolution Engines picking out my cab. He's been so nice to store it while the engine comes apart and all this other stuff goes on. And uh, so now it's going to the Sand Blasters because the metal work's gonna get done on it because there's quite a bit that needs to be done. Here we go. Okay, try going. Hold on. we're stuck in between here and here he's just gonna pry it out and uh, be able to get it down so we can get the pallet forward so that the cab is sitting properly on the pallet so it can go into the trailer okay we go forward you're good right there go up yeah Where are we going? It's just my hydraulics working right now. <laughs> I'm trying to steer for you and it's not working. What kind of setup you got? Um, this is a tube one forklift pump hydro. <laughs> you see that? You see that? We're hopping now. <laughs> All right, all jokes aside, cab's going on the trailer and uh, we're gonna head over to Sand Blasters now. Okay, you might be wondering what the heck is going on. Um, the, the back cab, we are planning on redoing this whole wall section that was done um, it wasn't finished when the truck came down here so instead of just meddling with what was already done we're going to essentially cut out this entire back section of the cab redo it the whole front end um, you may have seen recently on some of my videos that we cut off the rad support on the front we're going to be redoing this putting some panels in to match the you know quality of the engine that's going into the truck now so some things are going to be changing so that's why it's going to get blasted we're going to keep the floor and we're going to keep the trans tunnel but other than that there's going to be some major changes this truck just is the story of do and redo so that's fine that's fine just another thing to add it to the list but it'll get there forklift he put a pallet up to the other pallet and he's going to push that pallet with the with the forks and uh send it up it doesn't have to, to, uh, all right, strap her down. Did I just, did I just hear you say yeah, that? Yeah, I gotta do that. The, you had to, that's no, not, that's no, not going anywhere. You gotta, when it's a tire, you tap it. When it's a, it's oh, you have to really, it's not going anywhere. okay, that's, that's the rule of thumb. If you didn't know, um, the only way you can strap anything down is you have to get it to where you want and then make sure you tell it that's not going anywhere. We have to make a quick pit stop because I forgot we had to take the dash out of it. So we're stopping at the shop real quick and pulling the dash out before we stop at the sand blasters. So if you see it go to the sand blasters and the dash is magically out of it, this is the moment where we have taken it out. Okay, 
we got the majority of the stuff out of the truck. Last little bits here. Okay, now that we got all the stuff out of there, there's the stuff over here that you just saw us take out. This whole harness came out. Last little things going back in. Uh, then we're on our way to the sandblast. Okay, we're here. R and R. Just gotta get this off with the forklift. There it goes, off to sandblast. Next thing you know, it's gonna look a little bit different, get cut up a little bit more, so. All right, so I just got to Hoppo's. It's been a few weeks since I've been here working on the truck. I've been here, but not working on the truck. Alex told me that he got a few things done on it. I wasn't here dealing with the other stuff. We're gonna go check that out. We're gonna get a little bit of progress today. We've been away with events. Alex has been away with a lowrider events out of town. So other things were going on with the truck and not the frame. Back on the frame, let's get into it. See what we got going on today. Yo, there's stuff happening. I noticed some things. We're gonna go find Alex first before we dive into looking at what actually just happened with the frame. I found the man. What did you do? Stuck in a little bit of time. We got your rent centered up, four link brackets in. Watch link back in place, watch link crossover bracket in, battery cross member in, battery racks built, front A arms assembled, and now we're ready to weld it all. Did a lot. I'm like speechless right now. I don't even know what to say. Part, this so is her stuff. actual natural reaction too, because I didn't send any pictures to her. So. Yeah, he didn't send me any photos. He's like, I, I did a few things while you were gone. I hope that's okay. And I was like, yeah, that's 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 great. Any progress is great. But he's like, I'm not gonna send it to you so that you can see it on camera. Yeah, true reaction. Whoa. Okay, let's look at it. much because the cylinder sits in there. Sits right here. So even if you do, you're gonna have like a little small plate here, which I still want to add something just for rigidity. Yeah, because yeah, we're gonna get rid of this, right? And we're gonna use that as the measurements and probably do something a little further. There's not a lot of room for creativity on that one. I definitely want to just clean up all the welds and give you something a little more presentable. This was explaining earlier, a watts link got added in here. He made a bracket for it to go in. This is the battery rack down here he mounted we have got the four link mounted here a arms up here they have been mounted they're not exactly um, in the position that they're gonna be in and obviously the lower control arm isn't in yet but all right so we have to disassemble these pieces can get welded out battery rack can get finished welding out we have Alex here to do that welding out and uh, make everything uniform on the truck obviously it's not finished Diff's gonna come out of here right now. And I didn't want to finish everything yet, just because Georgia's been changing her mind a lot on this thing. So I have not changed my mind a lot on this thing. Well, your pumps are. Oh yeah. Back. Okay. So now the pumps aren't going to be in the back of the truck. We your fuel got... cell twice. Rubber cross number. So... Your front arms. Didn't want to finish anything, just in case she goes, "Hey, Alex, I really like your work, but we gotta cut it out." Come back to Georgia. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so back to welding this up. The people have been wondering though time frame like what are we thinking on are we gonna be powder coating like two months from now this is no promises everyone I like how she put me on the spot right now yeah. with the camera because she has not asked me this really like outside the camera are you we... do it right now when the camera's here <laughs> like, but no realistically like May? We're, we're, in March. we're in March we're in March we're in now. March I think May is a, a realistic really? the back end will be pretty much finalized today to so the only thing you gotta do is cylinder mounts that's the final on the rear end. You got fuel cell, fuel cell mount, pump, pump mount, yep. redo your bridge, finish your front lower arm because you gotta drill out. Yep. Front cross member, cranny cross member, pump stand, drive shaft holder. There's a lot of There's things lot. that need to be done so on this truck right now. Off we go to get this welded. 
reporting live here from Hoppos. Just wanted to uh, know what your um, take is on the progress of the mini truck. It's going along good. Uh, definitely a lot of work ahead of us. Back to work. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you properly prep your metal before you weld it. That's more important than a pretty weld. Just like anything, the quality comes from the prep work. Yo. Hell yeah. Okay, so while that side cools, then we flip the diff and we do the other side. These tabs have been obviously put on for the four link. That's why Alex is doing it and I'm not because right now. structurally sound and also difficult welding positions. Also, we want everything to be uniform and nice on the front. Other than my boogers going in there, so. But my goal by the end of this frame, she's gonna be welding. Am I though? Yeah, you are. I, am I gonna build stuff for other people though? Around here. Okay, so we're gonna take here. Take this back side. Take the back side. And take the inside here. And then the inside. All Just because right. nozzle doesn't fit. Yeah, that, that ain't gonna fit, so. Okay, so we've moved back from the TIG side back over to the MIG side. Finished off doing the little pieces that needed to be ticked because the MIG welder couldn't quite get at them. For those of you that don't know, a walk link is to keep the rear end centered in the rear of the truck. Essentially for more power and things like that, it helps keep it stable. Not that the truck is going to be making huge amounts of power, but it sure does look cool. Sometimes cool points. <laughs> Maybe I do want to add more power and do crazy things, but that's what's going on right here. Alex told me not to film this, but I'm filming it because he told me not to film it. You just said, oh no? Yeah, we got a, we got a little porosity in there. Okay, so what do we do in this situation? Grind it down, clean it, fix it, re-weld it. Okay. I, I could try to do just this section, but I got the biggest thing I gotta try to blend it so it doesn't look like I messed up. It's not messed up. It's on the inside, it's on the bottom. Can't have it. If Alex says we have to make it better, then we make it better. You ground this down. Take two. How was it? How was it? Not bad. Oh, influencer problems. That's a good height. So one, two, three. Uh, two of them are going to power the hydros, and then one of them's powering the engine. So everything will be back here, battery-wise, clean and out of the way. That's it. That's all. We're closing up for the day. We got some good progress today. If you like what you see, leave us a comment and tell us so. But if you don't, leave us a comment also and tell us so, because I love Everybody just let me know how they feel. Hey, like, follow, subscribe. Drop the emoji of your desire. Down below. Also, Georgia.com. Georgia.com. Okay, goodbye. Well, I'm just a girl with a mini truck. <laughs>